Hello, this is Ann Pierce with the Wisconsin First Detector Network. Today we're talking about stilt grass, which is an annual grass that is a prohibited invasive species in Wisconsin. We're going to cover key identifying features of stilt grass and how you can tell it apart from common lookalike species. Stilt grass can grow up to six feet tall, though it tends to be much shorter and sprawls along the ground. It is found in shady areas, including forests, stream banks, and other areas prone to flooding, and edges of roads, trails, and forests. It can aggressively dominate the understory of these habitats. Stilt grass leaves are two to four inches long and pointed at both ends. The key identifying feature of stilt grass leaves is the off-center silvery midrib. Unlike other grasses that have many leaves emerging from the base of the stem, stilt grass leaves are well spaced along the stem. Stilt grass has a thin, weak root system that pulls out of the ground easily. It also has rootlets that develop from nodes along lower sections of the stem, as circled in black in this image. These rootlets are also known as stilts, which is how stilt grass got its name. Stilt grass flowers in late summer through early fall. The flowers occur on delicate spikes that are about one to three inches long. Each plant can produce up to 1,000 seeds, and the seeds remain viable in the soil for three to five years. As plants die back in the fall, they turn a purple-brown color. So let's talk about some of stilt grasses look-alike species. Crabgrass species in the genus Digitaria have similar flower spikes to stilt grass. However, its leaves are only pointed at the tip, and the plants are much harder to pull than stilt grass due to their more developed roots. Cut grass species in the genus Lyrzia grow in similar habitats as stilt grass and also have leaves that are well spaced along the stem. However, Lyrzia species are perennial grasses with well developed root systems. In addition, their leaves are longer and thinner than stilt grass leaves and do not have the characteristic silvery midrib. Lyrzia flowers are also much more open and spreading than stilt grass flowers. Smartweed species in the genus Polygonum may also be confused with stilt grass. Smartweed leaves can have a light-colored midrib, but do not have parallel veins. In addition, smartweed flowers are pink, which makes it very easy to distinguish from stilt grass when it's blooming. Taking a closer look at the smartweed plant, you can also see that its leaf nodes have a distinct membrane that wraps around the stem. When you look for stilt grass, remember to look for the silvery midvein on the leaves and a weak root system that often has rootlets or stilts arising from nodes on the lower part of the stem. If you believe you have found stilt grass, please report the location and photos to us at the Wisconsin First Detector Network or to your local DNR or Extension office.